What is going on YouTube and welcome to today's video. Today I have 15 dumbbell exercises to share with you guys that you might have not tried before and you can do them at home or the gym. I'm doing home workouts recently and I'm absolutely loving these exercises, but like I said, they're very versatile depending on your situation. So I'm gonna walk you guys through them with a voiceover and tell you which body part they hit. Maybe you can choose some of these exercises to incorporate into your own workouts and let me know which one is your favorite by commenting down below in the description box. I hope you guys enjoy. Welcome to today's video, everybody. The first, what is going on, you guys? Welcome to today's video. Welcome to today's video, everybody. The first exercise that I'm gonna be sharing with you has two variations. This is the first variation, dumbbell reverse lunges into squat. So what you're doing here is a reverse lunge on the left, the right, and then you're gonna be doing a squat to finish it off. That is one rep. This is a double whammy to the lower body. You are hitting your quads, your glutes, and your hamstrings here. You do have to go a little bit lighter in weight because you are doing so much. This next variation is with a squat press. So I love to incorporate this one on a full body day, getting that squat press there, hitting the front delts with the front press is just a really nice way to hit the upper and the lower body with this exercise. Next up is the dumbbell squat clean. So essentially what you're doing here is like a Romanian deadlift movement. So you wanna keep your back straight, neck neutral with the spine. You're gonna be rowing the dumbbell up your front, getting underneath the dumbbell and performing a goblet squat in one fluid movement. So make sure that you start off with lighter weight, get your form right, and then you can increase the weight. It definitely gets your heart rate up. These are dumbbell sway squats. So there's a lot going on here and they are such a burner for the outer glute area. I love to incorporate these and superset it with ro um, booty band abductors, especially when I'm working out at home. That is a great way to work your outer glute area. You know, you like your hip dip area, um, if you will. So if you wanna work that area, try one of these exercises. Next up, I love just the traditional dumbbell single leg Romanian deadlift. It works your hamstrings. It's awesome to just make the booty really perky. I find that I have a really good stretch in my hamstrings when I do this exercise and an awesome glute pump. So that is forever a staple. I do opposite arm to opposite leg. This is an incline bench exercise. I have two for you. So this is the incline bench shoulder press. You wanna put your bench at a 45 degree angle and you wanna bring your elbows in slightly. So they're not in line with your shoulders. They're just slightly angled in so that you do hit more of your delts here instead of your upper chest. Just get your form right and you will feel it in your upper delts, but you do work a little bit of your upper chest with this exercise. Next up is the dumbbell alternating front raise. Just that extra incline adds a little bit of resistance when you are lifting the dumbbells and really burns the front delts. This is a dumbbell single arm upright row into press. I love doing this one for upper body days and really just burning out my shoulders. So you do one arm at a time and do just as the exercise sounds, the upright row all the way up your front and then getting that dumbbell up and over your head with the press. Next up is the dumbbell burpee into tricep push-up. This one is so killer. So what you're gonna do here is essentially a burpee movement with the front press incorporated into it. I love adding dumbbells into the burpee and then just adding in that tricep push-up at the bottom there is a really nice way for me to work my arms without completely isolating them. And that's just how I personally like to work my triceps. Next up is dumbbell squatting alternating single arm row. I love just adding in a little squat for this exercise. I feel like you have to activate your core more. It does the stabilizers and overall I just feel a really good burn in my upper and lower body. This is a mountain climber into tricep push-up. So I do four mountain climbers and then a tricep push-up. Again, a great example of just how I like to work my triceps. This one's so killer. I think I can only do about six. Here we have the dumbbell alternating T plank. So definitely start with lightweight when you're doing this exercise. You want to try to keep the movement as fluent as possible and not dip your hips. You're gonna be rowing the dumbbells all the way up your front and just getting them overhead. This one also works your back as well as your abs. 
lying side crunch with leg raise. I felt such a good isolation in my obliques for this exercise and I was even squeezing my glutes, which is a nice little addition for the lower body. Definitely would recommend that one. I've been doing it a lot lately. And lastly, we have the plank hold with knee taps. So I do 60 seconds and then I just do a little knee tap, making sure that my butt isn't going up in the air. Just something about adding in a little extra makes it burn so much more. For post-workout today, I'm gonna to be having the One Up Nutrition S'mores protein bar. And oh my gosh, you guys, how good does this look? I heated it up in the microwave for 30 seconds. I just had to show you guys this because it is literally the most insane dessert ever. And there is gluten-free graham crumbs in there and little marshmallows. This is legit a dessert and it's only 260 calories, gluten-free, no preservatives, and it has 18 grams of protein. So they come in a bunch of different flavors. I love to have this when I'm craving a little something sweet. My other favorites are the strawberry cobbler, so good. The s'mores, they also come in lemon meringue for the lemon meringue lovers. But my third favorite is definitely the blueberry cobbler, which is already gone. So this is my post-workout. If you guys wanted to give the One Up Nutrition bars a try, you can use my code, whoo, <laughs> randy20, and it saves you an additional 20% on top of all weekly sales.